All right, Zeus. Hello, boys. Hey. Hey, guys. Um, so welcome to this Friends of Zeus podcast. Uh, to, um, please look for us on Facebook under the Friends of Zeus podcast. On um, Spotify, which is building up, I've added a few more episodes uh, again under the Friends of Zeus podcast and under Giants Jack on YouTube. Um, tonight, Tom had an idea on us talking about the Rittenhouse verdict before it comes out so we can kind of give our predictions, how we feel about it, and, uh, you know, see how it pans out, see if we were right, see if, you know, it, it fits the, the narrative that's going on out there. Um, before we did that, though, I was just telling you guys before we started recording, I, I want to start doing a, a little every episode where we talk about this war on words that we're going through right now. And the reason I think it's important is because even today I'm at the park with my kids and the, these cops walk up to me and they're like, so we're going to be closing down the park at, uh, you know, whatever time. And I'm like, okay. Um, and I go, what's going on? And he goes, well, we're having a, a deer management uh, exercise. Mm. And I stop and think about it for a second. I'm like, you're hunting. And he goes, deer management exercise wow they don't want to say kill the deer yeah right i was like i was like man i wish i would have brought my rear my my recurve bow so i could come out and help manage some deer yeah and but it was just i was shocked at the compliance that this officer was showing to something that was told to him nobody's gonna nobody's gonna hear him say it and it's, it's it's just alarming to me. It's like we could, I think every week we could pick a new word that has been changed and just go from there. So I think I, try and maintain. Well, that's just like right out of Full Metal Jacket where the guy goes, uh, we got a uh, thing on this. Uh, no more search and destroy, clear and sweep. <laughs> We're going to yeah, use the word this, clear and sweep. But now it's daily. Anyway, mm -hmm. I don't want to take away from what the episode is. I just thought I'd no, throw that out there. I, I got to dovetail in because this is like very organic. I, I had something yesterday, Zeus, and we, you and I had never talked about this. I was listening to NPR because I'd like to torture myself when I'm driving around. <laughs> and they had this story. This was just part of the news. This unfortunate story over the weekend uh, in, in D.C. Uh, this lady was walking across the street and was struck by a car and and killed, unfortunately. And the reporter referred to it as traffic violence. Wow. It was, it was an accident. And she said, she was like, the, the cases of traffic violence have increased in DC. And I just, I didn't even know what to make of it. It just seems such an odd turn of phrase. But anyway, well, now, the, to the, your point, it just struck me as like very strange. Well, yeah, what about when they these? We we really can do this every. I I've got ten that are yeah. coming to mind right now, but I I think we can spread it out and kind of have this. Guy. Yeah, I think it's great. And this was an accident too. This wasn't someone with road rage. I don't she's mind. So I don't mind those two terms that much, though. I mean, deer management might be what hunters call it, for all I know. But it's just yeah. odd. It's, it's odd. odd. Yeah. Traffic they violence. They didn't want. They didn't want animal protests. They're like, yo, you're gonna start slaughtering deer. No, and, I get it, but it's, yeah. it's it's probably been the nomenclature in that arena for a while. But you it's know. when it gets into the public arena per se. It, Have yeah. any of you ever had the unfortunate, um, uh, unfortunate situation where you came upon a scene where someone hit a deer and there was a police officer that shot the deer in the road no nah. no managed, managed managed the deer managed the deer <laughs> that's what they do man i mean i used to live in a more rural area and you come up there'd be like you know cars stopped and police car there'd be like a deer in the road and if it's still alive they just kill it which yeah, they you should gotta, well you got to put it out which, of its misery you know? right which they should but yeah i've seen and it that managed to kill him <laughs> managed to kill him anyway <laughs> onward <laughs> onward and upward You're like right. that movie that, like me myself deer, and is that traffic yeah. violence did you traffic think, violence the deer 
Man, like, managed it, managed it in in his life violently. <laughs> yeah, it's traffic violence. I, I don't play know. this game. Traffic violence. Are they talking about like intentionally running? No, no, over? no. That it would be accident. traffic violence. Yeah, I thought because I I thought okay that maybe they're talking about like uh, road rage and it was not that because I this was at the end of the story. Yeah, they're talking about rates of traffic violence in DC, and I was just like. Man, that's a weird so an, way an to accident it. is considered violent? traffic violence. Yeah. Oh, it kind of. Yeah. I, I think it's because cars are bad. Because the I word violence, it kind of, con- con- the connotation is that it's intentional. NPR cars don't t- kill people. I don't know about that. Kills though. people. <laughs> and, listen, NPR did like a ten-minute story on Operation Warp Speed the other day. They mentioned Trump one time, and it was in a derogatory way. Of course, of course. Uh, well, uh, that's no surprise. I'm just whatever. I'm just talking. I'm just saying stuff. So language. We always say stuff. Language. All right, let's get going. What are we doing? Go ahead. Well, Tom, speaking of Trump. Got? Speaking of Trump, there was a riot last summer. Sweet. In Kenosha, <laughs> Wisconsin, uh, so somewhat related to uh, politics and all. Um. So we want to well, talk about the Rittenhouse case. Probably everybody's following this case right about now. Uh, when we're recording this, they're in jury deliberations. So we thought it would be a good idea if we kind of just talked about our um, views on the case and what we thought and maybe even uh, do a little mock jury and we'll vote on whether we think he's guilty or, or not guilty and just kind of go around the room and get some thoughts uh, on, on our perceptions of the case. So how do we, who, who wants to kick this off? I mean, I'm going to be probably the less popular and all, and I'm probably also more in line than you guys think I would be. Um, so do we know the charges and what, what he's looking at? Oh. Uh, one charge of like straight up, First degree murder. One is uh, manslaughter, I believe, and then I think the third was like aggravated something or other harm, something like you know whatever. <laughs> really prepared. Yeah. There's like so he, four variations well, of murder the, the, from the guy. First the guy he killed. The, like the guy he killed. Was he a convicted pedophile or was he just arrested for pedophilia? No, uh, he killed convicted. two people. Oh, the guy he killed. Two he killed two people and he was no, a pedophile. No, no, no. no Rittenhouse killed two people. He shot a third. The third he person did not injured die. the other. Yes, but the guy he killed was a convicted pedophile, correct? Yeah. One of one of them. Yes. See, one of them. And that's right. something I want to get into right away with it. That's one of the things that's aggravating me about the whole dialogue out there with this is who gives a fuck, man? He didn't know that this person did anything. Yeah. The, the, the guy could have been a PTA president. Well, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah, he, was he just got out of jail that did that day, in fact. But it, it doesn't matter. Kyle right. Rittenhouse didn't, you know, if he knew that he was a pedophile, I'd be like, all right, well done. You know, but but the fact of the matter is he didn't know this. This was no, a, no, this, it's irre- it's irrelevant. And the jury right. the, the, it was not presented to the jury either. Correct. It wasn't allowed. It's not, yeah. it's not germane. Yeah, yeah, thank God at least. Yeah, okay. What, are the, what are the Germans? But was do was he the guy that was hitting him with the skateboard? <laughs> was he the no. guy that had the skateboard? Uh, no. I think no. that was the that was another felon, but I, I don't think that was the pedophile. oh another felon. And there again, two felons doesn't matter. Right. Kyle Rittenhouse, and, and Kyle like Rittenhouse has never been arrested, correct? Right. No. Was, no, he's, he's in jail now. Kid. No, no, no. So, He's in jail. He's on trial. I'm saying currently. before this event, oh, before, he has no, no priors whatsoever. No, never he been, was a saint, been. basically. Right. He was yeah. going around right. town uh, acting as an EMT. He was patching people up. He was giving people help. Yeah, and, uh, He and, was washing graffiti off. And what, what's funny is think about this. All this. Had, had the National Guard been deployed, he wouldn't have to have been there. In right. The first point. Possibly, yeah. That's a really good point. But he, right. he had family in Kenosha, so he right. probably could have been there that night anyway. And he was invited to come and, and help. But what I'm saying is, had the National case. Guard been deployed and the police been out doing their right. job, then there would have been no need for him to do what he did. Possibly. Correct. Yeah. 
too. Yeah, that that's um, part of the problem is he's well, there because there would have been there would have been martial law and anyone out on the streets would have been arrested or tear gassed. Right. Yeah. So here's my thing about it. Um, was he? Um, was it unwise for a 17 year old boy to go out on the streets with with a firearm? I say absolutely. Yeah. Um, definitely. Now, now to that note, quite frankly, if you're going to start throwing blame out, let's talk about whoever gave him the M- the M16 or AR15. Um, that's the person know. I would throw some questions at. Um, what I know about him is that he had a a bulletproof vest, and he gave that to somebody else. Yeah. To help them protect themselves. Um, is he a saint? I'm not going to go that far. I think he sounds on paper. If everything is true, he sounds like he was a decent kid. And, um, and, and when this, when this whole thing went forward, didn't he interrupt them? They put a, they put a, a they had a dumpster on fire and they were yeah, pushing Mike, towards Mike, a gas station. Mike, 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 let's do Jack, show. Jack, Jack. All right. Sorry. Yeah. Let's right. do let somebody else talk and then we'll get into the facts of the case. So yeah, you're so, saying Kenosha was a dumpster fire that night? I'm yeah. saying the United Sounds States. about right. Um, so anyway, my point is, is should there be, and I know that this is not, this is not necessarily how I want the world to be, but how I think this case, it might need to be just to protect the streets from running in blood is they're going to have to do something at bare minimum symbolically. Now, prison for 20 years, fuck no. I, I completely disagree with that. But probation, maybe, you know, therapy, whatever. I, it, they have to do something that says we slapped his hand. To what degree? I'm not, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying I agree with the... the oh. Wait, wait, wait. Well, so you're saying jury by jury by jury by mob is okay. Time out. Time out. Zeus, you're talking about sentencing. Right. Right. That's different. First, you have to decide if he's guilty or not. Oh, no. Guilty, no. He, 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 listen, you can't can't be guilty. Put him on probation. You can't be put him on probation for. Then you can't put him on probation at all. I'm saying how it's probably going to work out and how in, in a very jaded way, I think it should just to, uh, fuck that. I know, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying that I like it. I'm all saying, right, what would you, all right. What would you, what would you find him guilty of Zeus? You're a juror. What's he guilty of? Look, man, um, stupidity. I don't know. I'm, it, not I'm, charged I'm, with that. not being charged with stupidity. So you're, no, I said that already. You can't be charged for stupidity. You can get no, president, you but you can't be, be charged can't for stupidity. Zeus, Zeus, can I ask you something? Well, hold on, hold on. No, I can I ask you something? Yeah. If there were riots in your area, in your neighborhood, uh, would you like it? No, okay, hypothetically. If there were riots in your neighborhood going on, and there were people, Molotov cocktails, burning st- stuff down, and going house to house, would you like it if somebody, your neighbor, who was 16, 17, had a, a weapon and stood in front of your house or, you know, in your neighborhood protecting you and your hey, neighbors? You guys, I, no, of course not. You're, you're not understanding my sentiment here. I'm saying that if people, and, and I don't like it, okay, let me reiterate this. But if, if there's not at least an ounce of flesh that's thrown out there, to show some form of punishment. I do not agree he should be punished. What I'm saying is most likely he will be. And to a degree, I see why they would do it. Now, if they ruin who's, this kid's life, they? they, you know, them. Who's um, they? What do you mean? We talking about? I don't think we should punish him. You're talking about all the black people who are going to, you're talking oh. about all the BLM and Antifa people, okay, who are mostly no. white. No, the, these guys that are going to riot if he goes free. These guys, Mike, the, the three guys he shot were white. That's not even part of it. That's this. right. Yeah, that's right. Not but that was news media, to a lot of people. But yet, that's but right. There's the, this, there's the media, this. but the media is making this out to be about racism. 
Mike, yep. you're all Mike, Mike, you're all over the place, man. Let, I mean, so what I'm saying is I don't agree with it. I don't like it, but probably that's what's going to happen. I think if we do not think that he gets something, we're probably fooling ourselves. I think we're in this world now. Hold on, Jack. We're in this world now where it's already gotten out there and everybody is saying, including myself, that if you don't punish bad behavior, it becomes a training mission. I'm not agreeing with all this. What I'm saying is I get why they would do things this way to deter 17-year-olds from carrying around rifles in situations that they shouldn't be in. And I think we can all agree. He was a 17-year-old carrying a rifle in a situation he shouldn't be in. Let me ask you a question, though. Are there any 18-year-olds in the National Guard that would be in that exact same city? As Michael Gray said, they weren't there. I mean, but if, would they would they be eighteen year olds basically in the exact same situation, yes. with carrying training, a rifle with training and orders and supervision? But you don't know what training Kyle had. I know he's seventeen. It couldn't have been that much. But he could have been using a gun his whole life. I mean, I don't know. But that doesn't teach him how to handle. He it. actually was. Uh, well, he did handle it very well. I think. I think so too. But he handled it really well. He did. I mean, he he was like a perfectly trained. Uh, there are soldiers that wouldn't be able to do what he did. Listen, I like the kid. He he walked to the cops with his gun down and his hands up. He did so much right. I'm just saying, I think that the inevitable outcome of this, and I don't agree with it, but I think the inevitable outcome of this is that he gets some kind of slap on the wrist. And again, I get why it would be done that way to to cause deterrent. But I don't like it. I'm, I'm not saying I like it. I'm saying I get it. I don't, but so I don't, to be clear, hang on. So yeah. you you say not guilty, not guilty on the charges, Zeus, yeah. but you would hope that the judge would find a way to to do something to get not, him some. Not sort necessarily of hope. I do think it could save lives in the long run, but I don't necessarily want this kid to be a sacrificial lamb either. It, it, yeah. Listen, my thoughts are complex. If he could get away scot-free, I'd be fine with it. Um, but I think that if he gets away scot-free, worse things are going to come. I just do. Well, the, well that's not. You don't like it. All right. Don't look so. No, 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 Zeus. I get what you're saying, but the bottom line is, he's charged with intentionally killing. No, or I, re- or, or he's also charged with recklessly endangering. And I, and I get that. And I he, mean, and, and the defense has stipulated, and we all know that he had a gun and he shot these three guys and two of them died. Yeah. Right. So there's no facts in dispute here. No. no. So the questions are purely legal, really. And the, and the prosecution tried to make them factual by saying that he, that there was no provocation or that he provoked these other people into doing it which puts him on the hook you can't use self-defense if he right. provoked it so it I really find that not, a tricky thing for them to do as well well what i'm saying is that you have to look at what we know based on the ample video evidence and everything else once you like i we can all say kyle is a 17 year old kid who maybe shouldn't have taken it upon himself for a day and a half to wash off graffiti, put out fires, provide medical aid, and do it with a gun strapped to him to protect himself and property. But they were throwing gas bombs at people. They were lighting fires. Frankly, if he was my kid, I, I would, I'd be alarmed that he would do such a stupid thing. But he did do it. And he was well within his legal rights to do it. Period. Important. Yeah, me. I, feel, I mean, you're basically saying that a 17 year old kid can't defend himself. No, no I if, if he was 15, that. if 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 no, his father no, said, "Here, no, here's no, a Mike, gun." Mike, 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 are you listening? Are you listening to me at all? I, I, oh I, my god. No, but you're not listening. I I'm fully endorse. I fully endorse that this kid is not. Get guilty of anything bearing malice. I get basically, that. But you keep he's mentioning that he's seventeen. In fact, he's basically 17 have to do it? he's basically a good Samaritan who went out and tried to help people 
And now he's being prosecuted. Yet the guy who he shot, he had an illegal firearm. He had a concealed. Right. He didn't have a concealed weapons he permit. Been charged, and he yeah. has. And, you know, he hasn't been charged. You guys. That's a different board. case. But you still, still, you're and then, right. And here's the other thing that I'll say to his credit. When I watched him in the in the sitting on the stand. Uh, I'm not going to go into what I do for a living, but I, I learned to watch body language. Oh, and I didn't say it. Didn't say it. Um, <laughs> but here's, counts. The thing. here's my here's my point. That Zeus kid, works in a psych ward. <laughs> is that kid all there? Is that what you're saying? He's not all there. No, 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 no. no. Quite the opposite. When I watch this kid sitting there and explaining what happened, he's doing things. He's reliving it in his head and he is yeah. not stoic it's like a ptsd sort of thing he, yeah he's not stoic he's not unemotional he, when he talks about how he was lying on the ground he literally leans back he was reliving it and it was cemented in his memory i do not doubt for one minute that that kid is telling the truth oh there's no doubt he is we have yeah. the video we have the know. video you know what? I've seen the video and I can't determine enough from it. But oh my that's God, fine. there's there's let's FBI. not get into that. All right. I'm just giving my Jack, opinion. Jack. Not get into it. That's well, whole, I mean, someone I, taking I a skateboard. Well, somebody taking a skateboard or any kind of uh, that's the anything, only thing I could see. And right. oh well, that's a deadly weapon. If someone hits you over the head with a skateboard, that yeah. could kill you. Yeah. Well, that guy's things dead. are heavy. Okay, I Jack. Think, no, I think that's the guy that got shot in the arm. Let's, let's move on to Jack because I yeah. don't. We've only got an hour here. Okay, Jack. What is your uh, what is your vote on the jury? Well, I mean, I I was going to go through a whole timeline and everything else, but oh, but here's all right. My, you my, want us to come back to you? Or? No, no, no. If you want to just rally off the three guys he shot, it's pretty obvious to me. Now go ahead. That we had a cause of self defense here. You had Rosenbaum, who basically chased him, went for his weapon, and grabbed the barrel of the gun to the point where we have burn marks on the guy's hand from the barrel of the gun. Okay, mm -hmm. not, to, not to mention the video evidence that shows that, not to mention Zeminski, the other guy, firing a shot off as he and Rosenbaum tried to corner uh, Rittenhouse, right? So the guy lunges at, plus the guy had told him earlier in the night, I'm going to kill you. If I right. see you, I'm going to kill you. If I and catch you alone, him. I'm going right. to kill you. If I catch you, you alone, I'm going to kill you. And plus he, they show him chasing him and grabbing the gun. So yeah, he's there's self-defense there. Uh, Hubert was part of a gang that was chasing him down the street as he was trying to get to the cops who whacked him over the back and the head with a skateboard. OK, so Hubert clearly had a dangerous weapon in his hand because a skateboard, a, a friggin' shoe can be a dangerous weapon. It depends how you use it. He hit him with a blunt instrument with uh, ball bearings and wheel ba basings on it. Um, so I'm sorry, dude, you, you know, you didn't knock him out. And that's self-defense right there because it knocked him to his back and it hit him in the head. And then you have Gage Grosscheck, who literally pulled a handgun on him. Mm -hmm. So if self-defense is still a viable defense in uh, in Wisconsin, which it is, he's not guilty. And that and that's without getting into all the uh, the, the the media's uh, what do they call it uh, a trial of public opinion, where this is basically Let an me, attack. Only him a white supremacist, the racist. I mean. The president yeah. of the United States getting no, into this? I mean, no, no. So we can't go into no. what they were before they were shot. Do we, we, I mean, I'm not the Jack. No, I'm talking Jack. Michael Gray. No, was I'm he, not. was he an active shooter? Was he walking down the street shooting everybody that he came no. across? No, we know that he was what, there. Was he doing anything to provoke other than just kind of being there and being, well, that's an obvious that, anti rioter? That's, that's the problem. <laughs> Is that that's provoking? No, that's the problem. If you allow having a gun in the first place to be provoking, and if you allow what the prosecution says is that you can't bring a gun to a fist fight or you surrender your right to self-defense if you have a gun Skateboard in the first fight. place. No, the prosecution said you can't claim self-defense if you're the one who brings the gun. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. that's, 
That's not true. And then the other prosecutor said every now and then everybody's supposed to take a beating. Are you fucking kidding? Wow. That's I missed amazing. that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, so Mike, uh, okay, hang on. Allow me to interject. Go, okay, go uh, ahead. I was going to go to Brandon. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon's, Brandon. Uh, go jury Brandon. vote on this. He's been quiet, so I think he's been oh, storing he's up waiting. something. No, no, I'm, I'm trying. I mean, the one thing that I think sorely is missing in a lot of this is context. Okay, so the Kenosha riots happened, and it was like the last week of August, 2020, uh -huh. at the end of a of a summer uh, that saw, you know, multiple Over cities, multiple cities uh, go right. through this sort of thing. Over 25 uh, completely innocent people were murdered during these riots. Uh, which no one talks about. Uh, one of them, David Dorn, back in June in yep. St. Louis, he was a off-duty, well, retired police officer. I remember working that, yeah. security, and uh, he was working security during one of these riots in St. Louis, and you know was basically shot in cold blood uh, and killed. And you know he was trying to defend property, and you know our media that's like, well you don't need to defend property. It's like, who are these people? Like, of course you need to defend property. I mean, that's well, anyway, if you don't believe that's in property rights. Shit, if yeah. you don't believe in property rights. So to look at this out of context is really to do everyone a disservice. So this is at the end of a summer where you have <clears throat> unprecedented violence. Tensions uh, are high. On. Tensions are high. Oh, again, conservative estimates, over 25 people murdered. Uh, a lot of these cases not even solved to this day. Um, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of buildings burned uh, to the ground uh, throughout the United States. And, and so Jacob, was it Jacob Blake, I think, was the, yeah. the, the man that was that going into people. his car. And, yeah. you know, he's still alive, actually. Ironically, he's not dead. Yeah. Um, but he was shot. And again, you have... The context is <clears throat> there are groups uh, in this country, especially during that summer, and I think they're still poised. They're looking for any any excuse, right? They're not interested in, they're not having a podcast where they're trying to figure things out and rationalize and it, and set in their way. make sense of it, and make sure that they're being intellectually consistent. That's, that's all, that has no uh, bearing in where they're coming from. So you have this guy, his... Kyle Rittenhouse. His father lives in Kenosha. He's familiar with the area. He's friends with people in the area. He knows business uh, owners in the area. He's been watching TV. He's 17 years old the whole summer for 10 weeks. And this shit goes down. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to let that happen in this place yeah. that I love. And he's well within his rights. He didn't violate, in my view, again, I haven't watched the entire um, trial. I know two people that have whose opinions I trust very much, and both of them, uh, and that, not even people I agree with politically, and both of them been like, this should never even have come to trial. I mean, this is right. this is a farce. So to to say, and again, I I appreciate Zeus's opinion, and I get that, but if you're looking at this in context, he needs to be completely exonerated. And it needs to be known that if you want to partake in this type of violence, that there are other Kyle Rittenhouses out there, and this is going to happen to you, because there needs to be some pushback on this stuff. And I know that sounds crazy, but sitting around, like having your towns burned down and people innocently, or innocent people murdered, that's bullshit. And the people who are doing it need to know that that's not accepted. Okay. And this kid didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything illegal. You call it judgment or not judgment. I don't know. There's a lot of people that aren't doing anything. And there's 25 innocent people that were murdered in the summer of 2020 because a lot and of it, people didn't do anything. And it's, and it's not just about the looting. I mean, these people, a lot of these people were looting. They were starting fires. Where do you draw the line? Like that's, that's and, and Zeus, Zeus and I have had this conversation. And I've had this conversation with other people. Do you wait till they're at your door? Do they wait till you're they're coming in through your window, dude? I'm you, like, what? Totally. At what point are you like? Do you push back? At what point? 
It's like the McCloskeys, you know. At like the McCloskeys, completely within yeah, their they rights. Stood there they on did. their property, on their property. Uh, now we the, have the, a media. The, now listen, let me finish, Mike. We have a media that has done everything in their power to frame this in a certain way. So when I say what I just said, it sounds crazy because there's people that, you know, the three or four people that have watched this that, you know, have never thought of it that way. Well, have we doubled our numbers? But you look back and I, again, I posted this on the thread. It's like, this is again, in context, you've got Kyle Rittenhouse, you've got, you know, the Russian collusion hoax, which has now been unquestionably shown to be a complete farce in the last week or two with the Durham investigation and that all of the, um, you know, the, the dossier and the, the quote unquote evidence that was put in that was a total farce. Jesse Smollett, Smollett, whatever his name was, how the media completely Uh, went uh, over the cliff with what that was about. There we go. I got to get that in there again. Um, Completely (laughs) over the cliff you know, prejudging that before we had the facts, you have the, the bounties on American soldiers from Russia. That was a farce. The, the Trump call to the Ukrainian president, that's a lie. You have the Hunter laptop that that wasn't a story. It never happened. But now we found out it was the lab leak theory, which I got my social media accounts deleted from March 2020, which is now considered fact you have peaceful protesters that aren't you have this insurrection that wasn't you have this 2020 vote that was crystal clean beautiful but the 2016 vote was horrible you have crt not being taught in virginia schools where it actually is and the governor actually wrote i mean what at what point i mean i'm just saying there is context that is important to uh to take into account in all of this and look you know, I was, I wasn't, I was born at night, but not last night. Right. And at a certain point, people need to be like, you know, no, here's the line. No, you're right. You're right. uh, On a couple, you're right on most of that. I agree with everything you said there, Mike. Uh, I don't know that this necessarily is notice, but just in context with what you're saying, we also have to remember that the president of the United States weighed in on this before. Yeah. Any, yeah. No, that didn't make no. sense. No, 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 no. I'm going way back, way back machine. Last year, when this shooting first happened and people didn't even know the victims were white. OK, Rosenbaum, Hubert and Grosscheck. Are I'm all sure white. people were sure they were black. Well, the point is, Biden put it in a 2020 presidential election campaign ad. And he equated Rittenhouse with white supremacists. If you watch that ad, he's talking about white supremacy, and he shows a clip of Rittenhouse walking around with his AR-15. That actually happened. So the court of public opinion on this thing was sealed and delivered before the man even allegedly won the White House. And I say allegedly, because that's the Mm -hmm. way I personally feel. And that's fine, because I'm not speaking for the group. But yeah. the, bottom, the bottom line is, while he was at the podium with the Oval Office seal behind him, he said, we all, you know, he basically said, I know how this, this should come out. In other words, this kid should be convicted. And this kid is on trial for the Second Amendment, and he's on trial for the defense of self-defense. And that's it. It's got nothing. This should have, this should have never even gone to trial. It should not have gone to trial. Once, and, and also, once you drop the gun charge, which the judge did, because the kid had the right to brandish that firearm because it was legal. OK, that's a fact, too. They dropped the gun charge. What's the reckless charge about? Right. Reckless so, endangerment. So, but yeah, he, if he, I only, may. he only fired the gun when he was attacked. And if and if he was attacked, then the surely the intentional killing then has to go out the window. Like one of them has to go out the window. He didn't hunt these guys down. And that's the way it was presented to the country for a fucking year. A lie. And he, you guys notice that all these riots are really happening in blue cities, right? Democratically controlled where the, the mayor is the Democrat. Yes. I'm sorry. The, the, they're all democratically controlled. 
areas where there are, are riots where the National Guard was not called. OK, well, uh, it's like uh, when you had that in, in Seattle, uh, the Chaz member Antifa and BM took over a couple of city blocks. And uh, does anyone remember this? The Ch- oh, yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, you, and then remember in Baltimore, when the, the riots were happening in Baltimore, the, the mayor, the female black mayor said she had the police stand down. And yeah. said, we're on camera, said, we're going to give them the space to riot. And then she, they said, what, what are you talking about? And then the next day she denied she said it when it was, you know, it's like, no, you said it to a, to a reporter. Well, also, also, Mike and Brandon here, let's take it back to Kenosha where this happened. Does anybody remember Kamala Harris going to the bedside of Jacob Blake? I don't. Oh, she did. Yeah, she did. Oh, yeah. Oh, she called him a hero, and she said, this has to keep going on. This is the new normal. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'll she go did. one further. And the I... new, because the agenda is to, well, the Democratic agenda is they want a national police force. They want to do away with sheriffs, yes, elected they sheriffs. I and they want, to, they want to have a, yeah, yeah, they want to have a national police force. Yeah. Okay. They should and, call them something fancy like a, uh, Gestapo, yeah. like <laughs> fucking bullshit. Look, no one. Look, no one. I mean, whatever happened to Jacob Blake? I, I don't know that story. I mean, the guy. Uh, he was I do. Okay, I do. The but cops, I'm just saying. Yeah, the, co- the cops were exonerated. Okay, but yeah. what I'm saying is, these stories are being uh, purposely uh, racialized. I mean, there are people. There are people up until two weeks ago. Who thought that Kyle Rittenhouse killed uh, some African American people? That's right. Yeah, and and there is look, it's misinformation. It, it's, it's misinformation, and this whole thing of like, well, we're against mis- misinformation. We are. There being... were riots that started because like a crazy guy came charging out of a house. Do you remember this? I think it was in New York City with a knife chasing yeah. after the policeman. The policeman had to shoot him because it's, it's a nut with a knife. I feel like I watched a riot broke out because yeah, I know that was uh, I think that was Philly, Tom. Was it Philly? I I feel like I watched a video that talked about uh, American society being overwhelmed by a bunch of shit that doesn't matter to a point where we're a stressed (laughs) ball of fucking fury. We're being Um, propagandized to uh, on a a high level at a high 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 level. I I have a point I really need to make. The biggest part that's bothering me about this more than anything is the one guy that's got nowhere near the, the the press and I feel is one of the bigger victims out of all this shit that's happened was this poor kid, Ahmad Avery, who was fucking jogging. Mm-hmm. He got shot yeah. by three white men for just being in the wrong place in their eyes. Two of them, or I, like, I think two of them were, were they, one was an ex-cop, one was a current cop. Shot him, like that, I think, yeah, on fucking camera with a shotgun. Right, he that's the guy. They, I'm so tired of this fucking pay no attention to the man behind the curtain bullshit. Like, you know what? We're probably watching this and not really looking at what this this new bill that just got passed was. This is a good distraction. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we Maybe are. We can get the guilty verdict on that well, one. No. At the same time, you get a not guilty on this one, then maybe people will be happy. Like, yeah, no, Stir no. shit up and get people no. running around with like chickens with their heads cut off. I think it's I I think it's interesting that one is getting more coverage than the other, but but the Arbery case for some reason that case didn't get didn't get pressed for as very long even last year when the shooting took place. And by There's far, so much it's other the most barbaric one of all of them. It's the one that if they really wanted to argue gun control and all this other one, that's the one. Because there's some yeah. serious shit that's wrong. This was an innocent kid that was just jogging. He went to a house to, to just because it was on sale. He looked inside. I've done that. Should I be shot? No, of course not. Of course not. No, but the, the, that case is that case is interesting. It, it's it's see the Rittenhouse case. I agree with Mike there, Brandon Mike, that this case shouldn't have gone to trial at all once they realized there was no gun charge. 
But the Arbery case, those guys actually called the cops before they pulled up on the kit. Because they, suspect- they pulled some posse shit on him. Then they pulled some yeah. posse shit on him, which you're allowed to make a citizen's arrest in Georgia, even with a firearm. And I'm the pretty kid sure went- it's not citizens shooting. No, 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 it's not. But the kid, apparently there's video, the kid ran at the gun while the guy was holding a loaded gun. So I, I don't know all the facts of that case. I think Those we're going to find out something interesting with this one, honestly. Well, I mean, the, the, the problem is not, nobody. everybody's following the Rittenhouse case. Like, I, would that well, case... Also, everybody. also... Here, here's the fact. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Mike. Look, he happened yeah. two weeks before George Floyd. Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, Ahmaud Aubrey happened two weeks before George Floyd. It was fucking infuriating. And then George Floyd coming around, and this guy, no, you know what? I will go out on a limb. That guy had a, a, a history. This kid. He also had, had like. You know, no, but it's Zeus. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. All these things kind of piled look, up and then look. you get to that one more yeah but you like, notice okay, that's you, too much yeah but i think it's interesting it's not it doesn't have anything to do with floyd specifically and who i think he it was i think it's interesting too though tom that since joe biden has become president miraculously there are no more police shootings of unarmed black men in the country going on anywhere it'll happen again no, they're unreported. I mean, I'm sure there's look, still he, here. Here's the thing, man. Right. It's like with Aubrey, and again, I'm not I'm not even super up to date on the written house case either. But listen, everything is put through a lens of a narrative. And and whether it's legit or not, there are uh m- there are a lot of people in this country that are racist. There's a lot of uh, child sex abusers in this country. There's a lot of people who do a, amazingly horrible, horrible things. Is it a systemic uh, thing with this country where the entire country is uh, somehow evil? You know, I, I don't believe that. You know, you can have a case. I mean, the gentleman way back during, uh, was it during the 90s, that horrible case where these, these horrible just evil people in Texas like drag this guy behind their pickup truck like um, for miles. Oh, or I remember that. And, and, yeah. it, I mean, who, and if, if could, they did, who, if they did that, then they will be convicted. Hopefully, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's the one they who, were. Who, who, Isn't who that the one that Grease Man got fired for? No, no, no. no. I, listen, I'm just saying. Who they were argues who argues that that is a good. Th- I mean, look. Americans get along. And I'm talking about American. I'm talking about, I don't care what race you are. I don't care where you came from. I don't care when you got here. I don't, whatever. In general, Americans get along with each other very well. But we have a corporate press. We have Comcast and AT&T in particular who push uh, a certain narrative that is incredibly destructive. They're seeking to divide people. You have in Virginia... And I'm not, I'm no special uh, pleader for Winsome Sears. I don't even know her that well. I'm not even a resident of Virginia. But the fact is this lady who's a Marine, she's an immigrant from Jamaica. She came here when she was six and she is the first, uh, you know, person of color, female, uh, Lieutenant Governor of Virginia. And they call her an Uncle Tom racist. you You have her being called on MSNBC, which is owned by Comcast. So the, the board of directors on Comcast are okay with this. You have personalities on MSNBC saying that she is a black ventriloquist dummy uh, with a black tongue that has white supremacy words coming. I mean, I it's shocking, man. I was born in 1972. I, you know, free to be you and me and three to one contact and all this Right. I, I, I'm shocked at some of the stuff that I'm seeing now as an, as an, I mean, I know I'm much younger than all of you, but you know, as I, I mean, as I get, we were naive to all of this, but I, I, I don't think I, about like race at back, all. I, I, I never thought about race. It's stunning. It's I used stunning to, to me to see this. Stuff. And then, again, this is on MSNBC, which is owned by Comcast, right? Which is a company that has shareholders and a board of directors, which is almost all white, this board of directors. And, you know, in my opinion, uh, the next frontier is we need to go after these corporations, man. Why are they showing this to like, 
what is the reason for this? This is incredibly destructive, this narrative that they push. AT&T, same way. Who are these people? Why are they pushing this? They're condoning it. Anyway, right. I mean, you probably guessed my vote on the jury um, based on some of my. Not comments. guilty, by the way. Yeah, not guilty. Uh, I'd concur with that. Um, I think looking at the context, see, here's the thing about the 17 year old with all this context that you just laid out. That's exactly why I wouldn't let my 17 year old walk down the street of Kenosha during a riot with a gun strapped to his back. Even if he had the best of intentions, he just didn't understand the topsy turviness of these people with their warped minds. I mean, I would think that if I was walking down the street with an AR 15, I would think everyone would back away like the party right. of the Red Sea. That's yeah. not what these people were doing. They were doing. Well, the they opposite. were carrying them They'd too. Come after you. Oh, yeah. You, know, you know, saw you with the gun, Tom. There were a lot of people. Just real quick, real quick. Let me just interject this. If you look at this, the videos, there were just a lot. Listen, in Kenosha, in the area that he was in, there were a lot of armed people. There were a lot of people carrying rifles. He was by. He was not the only one by a, a long stretch, but. Well, he got anyway, separated, so, I guess, was his yeah. mistake. He got yeah. off by himself somewhere. He was well, trying to get back to the police well, line. And but, also, I mean, just to, to, to Mike's point, when he was being pursued by Rosenbaum, the, you know, the, the child molester, there was a guy, there was a guy named Zeminski who had a gun who fired off a couple of rounds in the air right behind him, which is why he thought someone was shooting at him. That all right. came out. That all came out in the trial. I mean, there was Kyle, a fourth guy that uh, Rittenhouse shot at the the guy that came up and kicked him. Do you remember this guy? The guy yeah, that, that was, ran up and yeah. was like kicking him in the head. Yeah, but Rittenhouse actually fired at him but missed. And then that guy, yeah, we but, never found out who he was until very recently. They discovered who he was. He was right. another ex-con with a long list of crimes. Right. Yeah, and that's, he was trying that's to get some sort of immunity. Yeah, from yeah. No, I know it's, it's all, irrelevant. I'm just telling you, irrelevant. we can talk about it It's here. irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Well, no, 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 no. Mike, Michael Gray, there's, there's, there's no, plenty no. of substance it's, it's, to the fact it's, it's, that it's it is irrelevant. irrelevant. Because, I mean, these people just keep committing the same type of crimes, and they it's like they go in and come out, go in and come out. Well, to Michael Gray, more and more people. it was you. No, wait a minute. You wait a minute. Kept putting him on probation over and over. Wait, I've got something topical for Zeus. Rosenbaum was in fact released from a psych ward that night. Oh boy. Oh hey, wow. listen, man. You're preaching to the choir. We let patients go all the time. That I'm like, fuck. What the hell were you thinking? Oh, right. you give him a pistol and what? say, have a good night. Yeah, might as well hand him a gun and just send him out. No, supposedly in the middle of a riot. In one of the videos, in one of the videos, when Rosenbaum is chasing Rittenhouse, he throws like a plastic bag at Rittenhouse, and you can see it on the video. And apparently, the plastic bag was his personal belongings. Like you know, when you get <laughs> from from hot. when he left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was like it was like here's my toothbrush and my soap, guys. Daddy's here. <laughs> No, but you know what it is? You know, Rittenhouse should be found guilty of trying to thwart a BLM protest. That's exactly what he's guilty of. He Here's a question. Every, None of the every murder. Let me just skip. We got BL or M. Like 10 more minutes, but we got to get the, we got three more votes to get to. Well, Jason, so just quickly uh, looking at, um, so each one of the, the killings, and if you've, if you've been following the trial, it's pretty clear, like the one where I think it was Rosen, uh, gross crudes that came up and the guy even this, this was the one where he uh, vaporized the guy's bicep but yes. just, that's the most disturbing thing in this entire trial and, but it heard. wasn't until and he got they got the guy to admit on the stand it wasn't until he actually pointed his gun at Rittenhouse that that's when Rittenhouse fired which was amazing constraint by a 17 year old with an AR-15 that he wouldn't shoot until Finally, that guy pointed his gun at Rittenhouse, then Rittenhouse fired. And, and so all three of them are kind of like that. Maybe I'm maybe I'm deluded, but the guy 
actually showed some some integrity by saying, yeah, I whether he was defending himself or not, he did this say was the crazy I did guy. those things. Yeah, he was a little crazy. There's something to be said for that. And that That's also true. lends to it written no, out no, for no, telling he, the truth. No, he went <laughs> these no, days. Dude, yeah. Dude, he did he, tell the truth. No, he went on TV for days after the fact and changed his whole story again. Come oh, on. See, that's why I said, correct me if I'm wrong. All I know is what I saw in court. But where that's he's like, not yes, under yes, oath, yes. Jack. That's not under he, oath. And he he's also suing the city for damages or something. Yes. He is. Fair enough. No, no listen. He needs to be listen, a, he should I was be arrested. uninformed on that. I was just saying what I saw looked like it was oh, showing. You saw the right thing. <laughs> <clears throat> he needs to be arrested because he was carrying that gun. He had no right. No, to somebody should just shoot him. They dropped the charges. <laughs> done and done. Um, <laughs> so, hey Jason, can I, we're going to come to you. What in the, literally. What, what I the wonder when are, that was. Uh, wonder when that was done, though. That when is that so off up. the chart. Yeah. <laughs> Which is and, somebody trying? I mean, to, that's your to... concern, Mike. Like, that's the thing. You, that's your takeaway from this. So like, that's guilty, the problem. Is he guilty because no, of that? actually, in the it, it, written house in German, uh, written oh, they're saying means marsh. The goddamn Germans ain't got nothing to do. With oh my god, it. man! <laughs> goddamn Germans ain't got what? nothing to do with it. What is that like 198,000 on the list of problems with this case? No, <laughs> seriously, actually, man. Come on. No, That's man. what you're bringing. Mike, thanks for taking I'm, the heat I'm, off me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying I'm to make big. a point. Hey, guilty Zeus. Or not guilty? Hey, Zeus. Yes, sir. This is friends of Zeus, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let me talk. I did. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm trying to say something. <sighs> <laughs> Go ahead. I, I'm sorry, Zeus. I don't want to give you a heart attack. You know, nah, I mean, dude, dude, I am cool. Like no, no, it's just fine. Not urban it's fine. Stuff. I'm unflappable, man. Dude, I wasn't busting chops. I no, 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 no. Forget it. Forget it. Okay. Um. So, Jason, um, we're all voting guilty, not guilty, and kind of giving a little rationale for why we we uh, feel the way we do. Oh, um, this might take a while. Um, not guilty because he broke no laws. Thank you, Jason. All right. Now. <laughs> but, okay, according so Zeus, wait, wait, wait. but according to Zeus, something's got to happen to him. Otherwise, there's going to be hell. To no, him. Right. No, that's no, the no, next no, question. No. Let me First just set the table. That, I mean, and that's now, what you said. I, said. I completely think that he's innocent. I don't think anything should happen, but I get it if they do something as a symbolic what does that mean it, specify for me please what does that mean a symbolic ask jack he's the yell at him just saying that yell at him what's going to happen is something <laughs> yell awful. At him. pull his pants down <laughs> okay, spank guys, his bare you ass remember, wait mike you remember oj simpson <laughs> oh yeah and did he get in was he acquitted or not so the, could so the next question is what now we all think that he's not guilty, but what do I've we think that. that the jury will say? Do we think oh, the no, jury I will think, say guilty? I think, I think OJ did it. What are you kidding? I, I think he did it. No, that's not well, what I know, but that's they not acquitted the point, him. Mike. So are they gonna acquit Rittenhouse the same way, even though we all think he's not guilty? No. So no. Does anybody think that'll happen? No. No. And it's sad. I think there's no way, even though they've gone into day two of the deliberations. All right. Quite frankly, as big as this case is, day two is nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My problem right now is what's going on outside the courtroom. I think we're going to have it. I think we're going to have another Derek Chauvin. I think that the guy was overcharged in that case too. And I think the jury is intimidated and they're scared shitless. Yep. It's very, very possible. They can hear him in the courtroom. They I, were reporting that today. How about this? This is something that I brought up. I think I was talking to Jason or Tom. The thing that the really hurts popped. my heart that, I mean, really makes me sad is no matter what, this kid's life is going to be changed forever. And oh. I do like him. I do find him innocent of what he's been accused of. My more of what I was saying was speculation. I will put it on record. Not guilty. OK, however. He did uh, the Mike or Tom, you sent that video where the lady was kind of going over all the different charges and all this. And she did say, you know, you walk out in public. The reason they took away the self-defense was because he walked out in public. And even though it was unintentional, he. 
unintentionally may have incited a different degree of fervor. I don't, I don't agree with it. So no shaking heads. I'm just saying that she shake did. my head. <laughs> he, he, did that, that he, 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 he walked out in public on a night when there were riots and there were people burning buildings, with throwing a gun, them off cocktails, with a looting. Gun that we symbolize with killing people, a, a specifically symbolic gun. I guess he should have done it with a slingshot. I mean, if no, he had a bow dude, and arrow. Dude, you're, you're attacking me wrong. I, I believe the kid's innocent, but there is validity to what she said, and she was defending him. Okay? And I do believe that he's innocent. Oh. I look at that kid. I, I, I got... I got a lump in my throat watching this poor kid have to relive the whole thing that he went through. I'm just saying but I know how what it's we're saying though, it's if, inevitable if that's provocation. If you count that as provocation, then then we're all in trouble. I mean, that's, I that's don't, crazy. but I but but you that's can also argument. not argue the logic of what she's saying. If I walk out, if I'm at this bar right now, and I pull out my M16, which is completely legal and people. Flip no, it's out, not. I'm not surprised. An M16 is not an AR-15. AR-15, you know what I mean. It's a rifle. It's like any if, other rifle. If I There's pull nothing out any firearm it. in this place of business it, and they flip out on me, that's kind of on me. Now, is he innocent of all these charges? Yes. But she did make a point, and she that was the weakest of her arguments defending him, is that he unintentionally may have provoked it. I don't give a shit about that. I don't think this kid is guilty. There's a difference between shouting fire in a crowded theater versus shouting fire on a street with fires all around. With fire. I agree. <laughs> in actual I fire. agree. So I'm not he's arguing carrying that. an I'm AR-15. Simply, you know what I'm trying to a, do? I'm trying to be not a in a balancing. peaceful bar, but on, in the middle of a riot where it belongs. Yeah, but like I said, like I said before, the Second Amendment itself is on trial here, as is the defense of self-defense. Bingo. Is, yeah, bingo. That is Good what's point. on trial here. Look, man, percent, if I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna ask Jack percentage that they come back with a guilty verdict. I think they're gonna hang him on something. Yeah. One of those four. One of those four charges. I don't think they'll get him on intentional murder, but I think they'll get him on reckless on at least one of them. I don't know if it's going to be the Hubert kid with the skateboard. Thank you. Or, That's or it all might be, I'm saying. It might be, it might be Rosenbaum. Um, I, I just don't think they're going to let the kid walk. No. I really don't. I think he's got a good shot at if he does. He, he's got a great shot at appeals because the oh, prosecutor. Yes. Yes. There's been so much misconduct with the prosecution already. You know, all yeah. said and done, this kid's gonna make a billion bucks suing everybody that fucking bill. No, he'll get that, sued. The dumbest what? thing he could do would be okay. to have this case dismissed because they're not gonna get a prosecutor this stupid the next time around. If they do a mistrial and then they come back and retry him again. Mm -hmm. The next prosecutor is going to be much smarter than this one. Right? Yeah, well, no, but I, I don't. Think I would take my chances with this prosecutor. No, yeah, I this, don't think. I don't think it'll. I don't think it can be a mistrial at this point. Look, you have no, the, you the defense has man, kept asking for mistrial. Isn't your jury like, supposed to like have no knowledge of the? This is the part that infuriates me. This is what I wanted to mention too. He hasn't had a fair shot. The fact that people are actually kind of. In his corner, a lot, I think there. Uh, I think a, a lot of people are actually in his corner, um, from the people I've talked to. Um, but they fucking buried this kid before facts. And how about how about prosecuting the motherfuckers that gave away any information on this case prior to? It, it is completely. There is not a jury pool that is going to not know about this. And worst part about that is they might be that, you know, I've talked about the 20 on the right and the 20 on the left that are real thinking people. And then the mouth breathers that listen to keywords in the middle. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the people in that fucking jury still thinks somehow it was racially motivated, even though it was three yeah. white men. You know what I mean? You don't know what it, the jury's going to do. I mean, if they can acquit OJ Simpson, because I looked at when I watched a lot of that trial and I thought for sure he was guilty. So you don't know what the jury is going to do or what they're thinking. It's it's sad. It's sad. This kid doesn't need it. You know who needs to be prosecuted to the fullest? The uh, Again, I'll go back to the Amara Aubrey. 
kid. The people that shot him, they need to fucking hang. He did nothing. Have you heard the details on that case? Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, there's no. there's some some twists in that one as well. Like uh, like apparently he had um, he had been to that location several times. He had been identified there with there had been items that were found missing. Um, it was there, an empty was, house. Yeah, no. exactly. No, it was under it was under construction. Yeah, it was private property, but no. he had been he had been identified there. I think it was five other times. Things had been stolen there. Did they um, find him so in his home? I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying that there were, I just heard some details today that were not in the original, um, at least the original narrative. So I don't know how it's going to go. There's still, it, it appears like there was, there is some racial element, if, if nothing more than shouting uh, racial epithets, but um, it, it's not, it, it's definitely not like Rittenhouse where, um, it, it, it there hasn't been a, as much attention paid to it and everything was just sort of released Word immediately is epithets? epithets i've been saying epithets. epitaphs for like Look, two decades if you if Thanks. you just watched if you just watched the party press about the written house trial you have no idea what's going on in the trial none and and i said this i think i said it on the thread and i'll stand by it man if there is any bloodshed with riots or people getting killed after this verdict, like no matter what happens, it is 100% on the hands of the board of directors of AT and T and Comcast. You got to call a spade a spade. They have been hey sewing, hey, hey, hey 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 hey. Listen, man, they have been hey, sewing. Oh, oh. <laughs> they have been they have been sewing this for months for a year now. <laughs> I'm just saying they they've been stoking this for a year. Right. And and you want to talk about misinformation. Context, Brandon. Context. I know. You want to talk about misinformation. You had to like, fucking ruin it. <laughs> now, have you heard that CNN is going back? They're getting rid of most of their people and they're going back to a 24 hour news oh, like what news? it was originally. Now no, it's no, I'm news. saying that. No, <laughs> where they be, what are they right now? I'm saying they're going to go back to the 24 hour news cycle, like it's how the way it started. I don't believe and it when getting, I see it. Well, that's what they said. They said they're getting rid of most of the people. They say they're getting of rid things, of uh, Lemonhead. Oh, could you, Don Lemon's, uh, Stelzer, and I'm saying, listen, man, this isn't they're getting like rid a of Don Lemon. This isn't a matter of an opinion or people are looking at things differently. This is a deliberate narrative to to drive home a desired outcome and violence and this uh, potential rioting and things that are going to happen as a result or a direct result of it this isn't like you know what we just see things differently we're reporting they are per they are purposely of course misrepresenting and lying right so you have people that are outside this courtroom that still think this is like some racially motivated thing. I mean, it's completely absurd. It's completely absurd. Look, look up Operation Mockingbird. This is the CIA control of the, the, the uh, I guess you could say it's like them infiltrating the military and industrial complex has taken over the media. Who was it that said, um, beware of the uh, military, military industrial contract. Was that Eisenhower? Eisenhower. Eisenhower's yeah. free will, uh, uh, farewell speech, yeah. Yeah, that's a frightening one right there. Next week's and actually, episode. he's actually said military, industrial, congressional complex. Oh, great. Congressional, okay. Now we can't trust the Congress. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was the original oh, draft. No. Of, that was the original draft of the speech. You know what? You know what we should have done after that is we should give them 40 year, um, <laughs> what do you call it, uh, where they're allowed to stay in office term limits terms yeah i'm sorry i'm i'm inarticulate if you guys hadn't heard that yet (laughs) but but, you know remember that if you look up what darpa is darpa uh gave the seed money to start google paypal facebook you know they they all come out of darpa you know all these uh darpa was part of the durham indictment uh they were uh, involved in that. DARPA's the one from that show Lost, right? Yes, yes. Greg and uh, yeah, DARPA. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Here's my thing also. The one thing that Kyle Rittenhouse has going for him more than anything is he's got that adorable little cherubish face 
that you just oh, so to do to it, man. Him. What? No, I'm just saying. I know. I'm just saying. Like, know. I'm just saying it's, going, yeah, but you look no. at those cheeks. You just it has nothing him. to do with it. Wait, wait yeah, that just means they're going to love him in prison. Yeah. That's he, would good. he be like considered a juvenile? That's because the crime was when he was 17. No, no, absolutely not. No. When he's convicted. No. But did they say that? No, that, that's that's not no, even. He, no, no, seven. He's being charged as an adult. Do we know the name of the guy that shot David Dorn in cold blood in June of 2020? No. Is it? Why don't we know that that guy's name? I don't know if they got him. No, they got him. What I'm saying is, guys, this is a this is a propaganda disinformation campaign, and if you buy into it, it's I don't know. I don't even know where to start with it, man. It, it's like a freaking disaster. I mean, this guy is not. He should. This case shouldn't even have been brought to trial. It's ridiculous. It's complete miscarriage of justice. Yeah. I'm. 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 Yeah. Like I said, we can have a. So. You know what? We're probably close to wrapping it up. I want to bring up a concept to you. Tom has been aware of this. I don't know if any of you other guys. Oh, Yo, you saw it too, Jack. Um, there's a thread that was going on uh, you on Facebook with me recently, and it was talking about these auditors. And this is what I want to think. And maybe not the next episode, but soon. I want to talk about this because it's it's these. This, so there's these people. This is kind of getting away. So allow me this. I, I, I am aware uh, of the tangent thing. Well, no, did it. If, if everybody weighed in on weighed in on Rittenhouse and you want to move to something else, then that's cool. At least to lead into another episode, yeah. Um, well, so it was no. I think we could do a whole episode on this whole inciting uh, well, let's see. Just agitation and this whole place we're going in the world. So anyway, there's so there's these. I guess they've got tons of videos, but it's just these people that. They're like going up and taking cameras and standing in front of the cop shop and just videoing, which, yes, that's legal. But and that would be fine if it was just that. But then they they poke the bear. And quite frankly, listen, they're about one percent of cops is probably really bad. Nobody likes them because they take away our fun. That's fine. I get that. But at the end of the day, I want them looking out for suspicious people. And suspicious to me would be somebody standing in front of the police station, taking video. And then when you go up and talk to them, they're like, what's your badge number? And then and then when they're told by their boss, you know, get away because this guy's an asshole. Then they do a little. Yeah. Oh, buckle up and leave, pussy. You know, one of those that guy needs to get his ass kicked. I and they're and now they're suing the cops for them walking in and creating a situation that was not there. That's my issue with it. And we, we can do an episode on people making shit suddenly what, an issue that what, what, what did what not is, exist before. What, what event is this now you're talking about? It's what these guys are calling themselves auditors and they're just, they're just, they're just instigators. They walk in front oh, of the police station, you? they take okay. video and then they poke at the cops until the cops eventually wow. at least once or twice right. beat the shit out of them. And I'm Why like posting videos of it. What's that? And let me guess. Do they post videos <laughs> of all the times that nothing happens? Yeah, no. I don't agree with that. Yeah. I don't agree. No, with no, that. I'm no. saying of course they don't post videos of when nothing happens. So you're seeing the select number of times that I got know, called a boomer. Cop. I got called a boomer on this because I said I want cops to address suspicious situations. Because we can go back to 9-11 and we know that they videotaped their targets beforehand. So you know what? That's already kind of squirrely to me. You know what I mean? So yes, whether you're on, and the, these guys in the one video that at least Tom and I saw, they're, they're talking about, well, they're, they're saying, get off this. The cops, the cops say, get off this property as private property, which it is not. And I agree with that. But it's kind of a, a useless argument because the guy's like, oh, if, here, here's a question. Here's a question. If you were in a bad situation and you a what situation, could, a bad situation. Oh, OK. And you, and you could either ask, you know, three random cops to help you or three random just anyone off the street to help you. Would you pick the three cops or the three random people to help cops you? every time? OK. 
Unless it's that Rittenhouse kid, he's he's a good shot. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, whenever anyone has these conversations, I'm like, yeah, okay, fantastic. But you know what? At the end of the day, I, I'd rather see a cop than like random Joe Blow guy. I lean cops all day long. I don't have a problem with them at all. I yes, are there bad ones? Of course. We... I've run into bad ones. Of course, there's bad ones, man. And then the I've been other stopped thing... them. Yeah, I've had unpleasant things happen. There's also, there's also bad lawyers and bad nurses and bad doctors and bad teachers. We don't, you know, if I want somebody to teach my kid, I'm probably only teacher first. You know what I mean? If I Jack, is that true? Are there bad lawyers and teachers? <laughs> Jack? Yeah. There's ah, probably some bad psych nurses out there somewhere. No fucking yeah. way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I, actually, there are. I know a couple, of them, but, but I'll name no names, and I like to think I'm not one of them. But I didn't bring that up. I'm only on one. I got a, yeah. I, the uh, so you're saying this is on Facebook? Yeah, it's on. It's on the Prince of Zeus podcast. Prince of Zeus. Uh, Facebook I have page. a. I have well, a actually, possible solution where you could avoid uh, this problem that you have on Facebook. If you want to listen well, to we'll it. we'll be talking about that after the show is over. Apparently okay. not, because Zeus is going to make this a topic of, of this one of the episodes. So we're just going to I think, I think this. that we do. It has, it has it. to do with not being on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook, by the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're, then, you, you're actually then delete your Facebook right up account. until what you just said. Um, <laughs> no, I, we, I think we do need, we do need to address this is creating problems where they didn't exist. Um, like, I mean, like this one, like I said, walking up to the police station and videotaping them and then acting all fucking... But isn't that common sense? I mean, like, do we need... And, to have, yet, I mean, and yet of course. they're winning the court cases because they push these poor people who are fighting for our lives every day, who have a target on their back all the time. They're pushing them to a point where they go, you know what, fuck it, I, I'm tapping out. I'm gonna how, how big of a problem Zeus. is it? Are there just like a couple of stories, or is this a no, trend there's, that's there's a ton you know, of videos? And, and you know what's funny? They've taught the publics now to call the police for any little thing, and you hear people calling the police because they didn't put ketchup on their hamburger at McDonald's. Yeah, that's true. Okay, and a lot of it too. I mean, listen, uh, man, uh, they didn't. You know, they didn't give me uh, the right amount of fries, and they're calling nine one one over shit like this. It's crazy. It's also, you know, you know what, what I say. Can I just say something, Zeus? Joking, Old Town, nine one one. Where's the Lake Crown? Sorry, Zeus. If you sit back, okay, Don't lean forward a little bit, Zeus. Lean forward. Okay, now to your left a little bit. Go to your left. Oh, to your right. No, no, no. Oh, Center yourself. You, that's Yoda. <laughs> He's freaking Yoda, dude. Look at the oh, ears. Yeah. With the ears. <laughs> so listen, man. I oh, I lived in Bal- I lived in Baltimore City. Deer management. We need some deer management. Yeah, that's I'm just I'm saying. I, say. I lived in Baltimore City for 20 years, man. I have a very realistic impression of what the <laughs> cops do and don't do, man. I mean, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Cops in Baltimore City, unless you had like the dead body with a video and a confession signed, you know, but they don't even show up. They don't even do anything. So. You know, this idea that like the cops are like overbearing, it depends on where you live. It depends on what your experience is. Hey, guess you know? what? They I get mean, to be a live, little edgy. If you they if you live in edgy. like, you know, suburbia, whatever, your impression of police officers is totally different than if you live in like a, a major metropolitan city. You can literally judge the degree of bravery by the suburban cops. And then as you move towards the inner city cops that are still doing the same job, just getting shot at a lot more. Yeah. City cops, man, badass all day long. And some of them are crazy. And a lot of suburban cops are retired city cops and vice versa. I'm just saying it's a different, it, it depends on where you're coming from. What hey, I'm going to, I'm I, is. this is an interesting little predictive thing I'm going to do. Tom, move your oh. head to the, to your left. And I'm going to say they really dropped the ball, the party media, to quote Mike. All they had to do is like doctor in a spray of blood there behind that guy's head where you see the cloud. And all of a sudden, this would have been an even more awful thing to be watching. Is that his arm getting shot? Yeah, that is oh a spray my. of blood. 
Oh my bicep. god! Man. I feel... just kept hearing about his bicep getting vaporized. Oh, it was decimated uh, yeah, right there. It was decimated. Jeez. I'd love to see that. <laughs> so, Jack, say the words because we got a couple issues that we got to talk about, and I don't want to have them recorded. Is that cool? Jack's taking a drag. Jack's frozen. Jack. Just let it go. <laughs> we didn't even let notice it that he wasn't there. <laughs> Jackie. Jack. Okay, Jet. Well, I think we've been on long enough. All right. How's that sound? So, yeah, I'm gonna stop recording. <laughs> Can I put the other ording, icon? Ording, in? ording, ording, ording. <laughs> well done, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right.